problem number seven. A penny falls off the Sears Tower. How fast is it going when it hits the ground? Well, you can always write on a free fall problem. The one thing you can always write is acceleration is equal to negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Our velocity is zero meters per second initial. Our final velocity is we don't know. And the time it takes to happen is 9.6 seconds. So what's our final velocity? Let's have a look at our formulas on page 88. And we can use velocity final is equal to velocity initial plus acceleration times time. That's literally the, the uh, first formula. It's really easy to use. Now we know velocity initial zero, so we just got rid of it without bringing it down into the plug and chug. And then when we plug and chug, we land up with 94 meters per second. That's probably about 180 miles per hour. Now you have to realize a penny will never achieve that speed because it reaches terminal velocity. That's the velocity uh, a penny can reach as wind slows it down. So you're not going to get that 200 mile an hour penny. It's not going to go through someone's head if you drop it off this year's tower because the wind will slow it down on its way down. So negative 94 meters per second. Problem number eight. An object falls off a cliff. Now I give it to you in feet. So the one thing you really have to do is make sure you convert. You're changing position to 72 feet. You always, right away, the first thing you do is you get rid of feet, you scratch it out, you don't ever want to see it again. So you always use System International. That's SI units. That's what SI stands for. I gave you your conversion of 3.28 feet for every one meter, and we land up with negative 22 meters. Why is it negative? Because it's going downward. Don't forget we have y, we have acceleration, and therefore we can find time. But don't forget, time is squared, so we have to take the square root of everything. We're looking for time. Now you already have this arranged for you, just a matter of plugging and chugging. Make sure you draw a nice big square root sign because everything has got to go underneath it. Not just the 2y. We're plugging and chugging. Uh, when you do the square root sign, make sure you put everything in brackets. Everything in brackets underneath that square root sign. Otherwise, you're going to land up with some silly answer. So our answer is 2.12 seconds. And always make sure you're, that you're canceling out your units so you know you did the problem correctly. Problem number nine. We have a building where a softball is tossed upward, then of course it goes down. We can always write in a free fall problem. Again, a free fall problem is a problem where the only thing that's acting on the ball after release is gravity. So we can always say the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. The initial velocity is upward. We have an initial velocity of 18.3 meters per second. Our y initial is 18 meters. Our final position is 0 meters. That means it leaves the top of the building and it goes down to the ground. And our velocity final is we don't know. Uh, one thing don't get confused with. Don't get confused that the uh, height of the ball is highest point. No, we just want the height of the building. What formula can we use on page 88? Velocity final squared is equal to velocity initial squared plus 2ay. That'll work. Again, go through making check marks. See which one you can work with. Our final velocity is square root of... Velocity initial squared plus 2ay. 
I need to move it over a little bit to make sure I can get all my numbers in here. Now it's 18.3 meters per second, the whole thing squared. So I use my parentheses plus two times negative 9.8 meters per second squared. I forgot to put my negative in there, but I can't go back through. And the answer is 26.2 meters per second.